Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about cylindrical coordinates. So now I will show you how to answer. The formula of this one that should be like this. S equals to R cosine theta. Y equals to R sine theta. And Z equals to Z. So now I will show you how to answer. For this one, we have R square equal to 6 Z. So we know that R square, they always provide a positive number. So in this situation, 6 Z should be about positive number. If they go to negative number, the value of R will be valid, will not be valid. So in this situation, we need to have Z, it should be greater than or equals to number zero. Now, if we look on the graph, we can see that this one negative, this one negative, this one negative, and this one negative. But on this one, we, they start from zero, go to positive. So that should be about E. The next one, R equal to number 5. So if we put number 5 cone here, number 5 cone here, and we see that S equal to 5 cosine theta and Y equal to 5 sine theta. So when we put in S and Y, they will be about the circle in here because we, when we put power 2 in here, power 2 for the both sides, we have about R square equal to number 5, 5 square. So in this situation, this is for SY, but if we put on Z, they will go to cylindrical. So we need to find about cylind cylindrical coordinates. And that should be about A, the cylinder in here. And we put A cone here. And the next one, R square equal to 25 minus Z square. So if we put negative Z square, go in here. This is about the circle. However, we know that S square plus Y square equal to R square. So if we put this one going here, and we have like this. And this one, that is about the sphere. So the center does it about zero, 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 and the radius is about number five. The square root of number twenty-five that's it about number five in here, or we can put about five square. Now we need to find the sphere, so we just have only this one, and we put the in here. The next one, we have R equals to 4 Z. For example, when Z equal to number 0, so that means R equal to number 0, 0. When Z equals to number 2, so 4 multiplied by number 2, we have 8, 8. When Z equal to negative number 2, this is about negative 8, negative 8. That means we have opposite count like this. So that is about this one. And the last one should be about B. 
this is the end thank you for watching